Point, point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, he the... said that in relation to Mr. J. R. Pereira. My question related to Mr. Pereira or any other individual. He did not answer that. Well, he only has to answer one part. With respect. Mr. Speaker, point of order. That, with, with, with respect, it is one part. Was this gentleman or any other associated with the National Party campaigns? That's one question. Order. Order. I, uh, I accept the, uh, the fundamental point the member is making, actually, that, that, it's, that it is basically one question he's, he's asking, and, uh, and I would ask the Minister if he has any further information on that part of it. Point of order, the Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr. Speaker, I think you need to be a little careful here because you'll be requiring a Minister to answer a question uh, for which he has no ministerial responsibility. He's given a perfectly plausible answer. It's obvious what the situation is here, but he has no ministerial responsibility for the National Party campaign any more than Phil Goff has for the Labor Party campaign, which last time was an abject disaster. Speaking to the point of, speaking to the point of order, Mr. Order, order, order. There will be silence before I call. Order, order. Hey, order. The, uh, the, member, the point the members raise is a very interesting point. I'll hear the Honourable Trevor Mallard before I rule on it. And, and, and I think, sir, if you go back to the original question, it was very carefully phrased, uh, and that was, did he meet with as part of those discussions Mr Pereira uh, or, the, or the others? They, they, were, they, they were the discussions around the funding, which he then asked, were they people who he met with previously? Now, it's a question of, of when he first met with the individuals. Was it part of the PETA funding uh, or was it with, when they were campaigning for the National Party? The interesting point, though, that's been raised by the Honourable Jerry Brownlee is whether the Minister has any responsibility for whether or not they're involved with anything to do with the National Party. And, and I've got to confess that is a very good point, that uh, regardless of, of... I mean, the Minister, the Member's perfectly at liberty to question the Minister about discussions with them, about, you know, what decisions were made, all that kind of thing. But whether or not they're involved with the National Party, the Minister's not remotely responsible for that. Okay. And that's the dilemma I have. I'll hear the Honourable uh, Leader of the Opposition Mr. briefly Speaker, further. Uh, I just wonder if you could give consideration to that ruling. It is a point of order. Because, clearly, um, when an opposition is holding a government to account, we need to know what the motives might have been for acting in an unusual and different way. And one of those motives might have been that there was some association. It might have been personal or it might have been political. And I would submit to you that that is a proper issue on which a government should be able to be held to account if we're to have transparency around these sort of de decisions. It's... Uh, oops, I... Uh, I hear the Honourable Member, and I, I, you know, I don't want to be difficult in this, but if he thinks back to... Uh, the previous parliament, there were a number of questions that revolved around the role of the Prime Minister as leader of the, La leader of the Labour Party versus her role as Prime Minister. And the House spent some time teasing those issues out. And I'm loath to go back and muddy the waters. I, uh, I feel that the Minister, in you know, his first answer to the question, didn't refuse to answer it. He said he, he hadn't met with... Uh, or he, was under, he just, just didn't know. And I, I think that is a reflection of the fact that the Minister isn't responsible for who, who's involved with the National Party. And I understand the dilemma the Member's getting at, but I don't want to go back to muddying the waters and being able to question Ministers about, about their party affairs, because the House has teased out those issues before. And I'll, I'll, give, it, I'll give it more thought in case... And at this moment, I intend to rule it in favour of the point of order of the Honourable Jury Brownlee that I shouldn't be asking the Minister to answer any further on a matter to do with the National Party that is not this Minister's responsibility as a Minister. Uh, however, I'll, I'll take advice on the matter, and if, I, if I've erred in this ruling, I will come back to the House on the matter, if I've erred on it. I, I don't think I can quite allow that on this occasion. Uh, Question number three, Craig Foss. Mr Speaker, 